Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crude YouTuber that is trying to come up with a thing that loves makeup maybe. Today I am going to do something that I have never done on my channel before. I'm going to do a random favorites that I had last year. So I have written down 22 things that I had as favorites 2022 and these are like everything from skincare to shoes and just things that happened in my life and this was kind of hard to come up with because what is happening here <laughs> i am not a kind of person that takes super much pictures when i'm just doing ordinary things that maybe is going to be something that i will remember and look back to as a happy thing i'm going to try to be better at it this year but uh, yeah i have come up with 22 things that i did really like last year so i hope this is going to be fun i have no idea so the first thing i want to talk about is shoes and i have talked about shoes sometimes I, i'm holding the shoes and they are really dirty um i do love buffalo shoes and i have been buying buffaloes like yeah, there are candy uh, and my favorite buffaloes that i have had is these ones i don't know how much you can see <sighs> they are i have used this kind of a lot it is a zipper here and yeah i have been loving these buffaloes this year i think these are the ones that i've used the most maybe i have been maybe we can hold one up I have been loving these so so much I think they look really good and they are really comfortable and I think they works with everything so this has been a really super big favorite this year and the next thing is a bag I have never been buying expensive bags I don't owe leather bags because I am a vegan and I am not using leather but I bought this bag I think it was this year um, that is from a Swedish designer, a Swedish brand, it's a Swedish brand, Karin Wester. And uh, yeah, this is a small little bag with a plastic chain. And I just think that this looks really good. It's, it is a little, little bit small because my phone is kind of big. Problem now, that has never been a problem like 15 years <laughs> before. But yeah, I've been really loving this bag and this chain adds something, but it's like not too much. And I have, this has been the bag that I've used the most this year. Now in winter, I usually don't use the bag because I put everything in the pockets on my jacket and it looks awful. But I've been loving that bag. One of my best handbags that I do own. Next up is a thing that I did to my appearance. I've done a lot of things to my appearance that I've been really liking. But one thing that I have been thinking about for a couple of years and I finally did it. It's my conch piercing. This little thing here. I've had this helix piercing since I was 15 I think. And I have always wanted something more. Then I started to stretch my ears, but I always wanted something more in my ears. So this year I took this conch and I do really love how it looks, but it's a fucking pain in the ass. And I don't know why I did this to myself, but like this is my sleeping side. And I now I can kind of sleep on this ear. Not always because it's getting a little bit irritated still, even though I had it for four months, but can take up to a year before it heals completely that was a big mistake big mistake but yeah i do love it i'm so happy that i finally did it and i'm like always so afraid that it's going to hurt like hell it did hurt more afterwards when i did actually piercing not that much that was the same with my septum so afraid it like didn't even hurt i'm really happy that i finally did take this conch. I want to take a rook piercing as well. I just don't know which I think in this year. And yeah, that is going to be a stupid idea as well. But yeah, I do love my conch. I'm so happy that I finally did it. 
And this year, if you didn't know, I became a vegan this year. I've been eating some vegan before, but I have never like called myself a vegan. I still don't know if I'm doing going to do that. I have no idea. But I was uh, completely 100% vegan last year. And I did find a new thing, a new... I've been eating this before and like never fell in love with that. it. It's a dish, but I did try a new recipe last year and I love it so much. It's a ramen. I can put up a picture here on that ramen. I just love this. This is amazing. I don't know how many times I have done it. I've already done it once this year. Two times this year? Once. I think I have done it two times this year. It is amazing. I love it so, so much. It is so good. And the broth, it goes really fast. I know that is not the ramen way, but this type, it's just an amazing, amazing ramen. And I love it so, so much. And that is actually one thing that I am in charge of here at home, to doing that ramen soup. Other than that, my boyfriend is in charge because he's so much better than me to making food. But that ramen soup, that is like my thing. It's my thing to do. I love it. I have also really liked my bangs this year. If you didn't know this, no, I don't think you could have known this. Um, I have had bangs for a really long time in my life. I think I cut bangs when I was 14 maybe and then I had them until I was... 22, I think. I grow them out, I got a side cut, and then I've always been missing bangs. And I've been thinking about it so much. I have friends that have cut bangs, and I'm like, I think I wanted to. And this year I find a little of it. And I do really like it. The only thing is though, I did forget how like often your bangs get dirty. I have been using so much dry shampoo in my bangs like a lot and in the summer whew. but I do love my bangs Um, I think that was a really good choice for me to finally get it and I think it suits my face I have I think kind of a large forehead which I now cover with my bangs I'm just so happy that I did finally cut it again and I'm also going to talk about perfume I just have to find it I do really like perfumes. I'm no like perfume person that knows a lot about perfumes, um, but I have a few at home and I do. I think like one of the best compliments you can get is when somebody says that you smell really nice. And I have been loving this perfume. This is from Clean. This is Clean Skin. Clean is actually a cruelty free vegan perfumes. I have this one and Rain. This one I do really, really, really love. It has the notes that I love, which is vanilla and musk. I love a little bit more of a heavy scent. This is not like maybe super heavy because it still is clean, but I think it's one of the heavier ones and it just smells so, so good. And when I use this to work, like my colleagues are like, it's smelling good in here and I'm like it's me and this year I've been really loving this it doesn't show that much though but yeah I use this at least once a week on Fridays at work and it smells so so good I don't know if you want me to talk more about perfumes I am not like as I said perfume person but I have some perfumes at home that I do really like and I like to smell good doesn't everybody maybe but yeah this little clean skin loving it a skincare that i really want to talk about that i i think this is my third maybe this is a day cream that is so so good it works amazing for me and this that is this one from ren this is their global protection day cream i love this this is for sensitive skin i don't have sensitive skin but this like moisturizes my face the whole day and it gives a little bit of a glow. And I don't think when I have had this that I have had like a bad skin day. I don't think so. I'm, 
I'm going to keep buying this and I think this is just so so good and let's see kind of a lot of bad reviews on this and I don't get it because this is the best day cream that I have ever tried it is a little bit I think it is a little bit expensive it costs a little bit more than I am actually willing to buy for a day cream but this is totally worth it I love this so 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 much I also want to talk about something that I've used for my hair I did like a favorite hair thing video I can leave it up here and then I also talked about this and this is a heat brush from Revlon I love this one I have never been a heat brush person I have always been a hair dryer person but this one is so so good it makes my hair it gives me more volume and it takes a little bit of a longer time but it doesn't make my hair that frizzy it gives me more volume and I do really, really love it. The only thing is I can't use this for my bangs. Um, I use a hair dryer for my bangs. But this one, amazing. I, I have like never understand the thing with heat brushes when people have talked about this. And then I bought this one and I was like, oh, this is what you mean. It's amazing. And another food thing. Yeah, I'm mixing these all together <laughs> another food thing that i've been really liking one thing that i thought was hard when i went over to a vegan diet was cheese vegan cheese does not taste as good as normal cheese I, I don't think it's possible and what i did really miss was feta cheese and there is some vegan fe feta cheeses <laughs> but um, they are mostly made out of coconut oil and co I, I, I hate coconut so for me it only like taste co I can only taste the coconut which I hate but I have done vegan feta with tofu, to tofu. that is amazing if you haven't tried it do it it is so so good and I usually do a pasta with like sun dried tomatoes and then I put this vegan feta on and it is amazing I love it so so much and I'm so happy that I tried it and it is amazing and if you don't don't if you miss vegan no if you if you miss cheese try to do that and have it like in a salad or in a pasta it tastes amazing I promise okay maybe I should have categorized these but yeah whatever another thing that i've been starting to do this year, another thing that i've started last year that was i have always been more uh, i i have never been a movie person maybe i could start like that but me and one of my colleagues that i eat lunch with every day him and me started to talk about movies and like should we have a movie night like we watch the same movie and on the weekends and then on Monday we talk about that movie and we have started to do that and I don't know how many movies we have seen maybe six or seven and I do really like that me and my boyfriend watch a movie instead of a TV show and then I talk about the movie and I have been really enjoying that I didn't know that I missed to watch movies that much that I apparently did but yeah that is thing that I we are going to we have continued that into the new year but I am so happy that I like found a little bit of a love for movies again that that was really really great then two things that um, are almost the same but not the same is I have been using so much ear weights last year and I'm going to continue with that this year as well i didn't know which earways i was going to take to this video but i decided to take these ones from ask and embla i have been loving these these are like the earways i use when i'm going out to eat and want to look a little bit fancy i do love these these are really light and they just add something really nice and i have been wearing these in some videos and Ear weight has really been a thing that I've been using more and more and more. I did use it some 2021, but 2022 I think it was the year when I really started to use a lot of ear weights. 
and also dangling tunnels <laughs> I have discovered. It's not that like common to buy in a Swedish store uh, dangling tunnels, but um, I've been loving them. I bought these ones at Eros. I do love Eros. I bought these for Halloween, so with like witch hands or like just creepy hands. I've been loving dangling tunnels. And I've been getting a lot 2022. And I think it's just a fun way because I do I do like to have this on. This is like my favorite stone plugs, but I do missed to have something like dangling and it's not always that I want to use ear weights so dangling tunnels has been amazing I love it so much and if you have stretched ears just try it it is so so comfortable and it looks so so cool another jewelry thing that I have come back to when I was younger I did use a lot of uh, rings and other jewelries but then I stopped it for a while but this year I have been starting to using that again so I usually have these rings on um, <laughs> this is a spoon a spoon a spoon my grandma's old wedding ring and a ring that I bought last year and I just love to have rings I think it looks really good and I just think it is a nice thing to have and I want to buy more rings, I want to have on all my fingers, I haven't come that far yet, but I've been really starting to love to use rings again and I've been missing them so so much. Then we can go into another skincare thing that I've been liking. I bought this pumpkin instant radiance in shower mask from the body shop. So this is a mask that you put on, go into the shower and wash it off and it gives such a nice glow. I I really love this one and it gives like an instant, like you can see that you look a little bit more glowy. So I've been using this um, when I'm going to take a longer shower and wash my hair, I use this and I think it works so so good. It doesn't irritate my skin. And I just love the results I get out of this. So I can really really recommend it. Uh, this is the second in shower mask I tried. I have tried one from Pixie and I just really like it. It's not that messy because you still are like in the shower so it's not going to be super messy and I can really recommend this. Then we, uh, then I'm going to talk about some clothes things. A thing that I, okay, this is going maybe to sound so strange. I have been starting to like polo shirts, like this one. And also I have this, that is one of my favorite shirts from last year. A split shirt from Monkey. This is also from Monkey. We like a little polo. Um. <laughs> Okay, this, for, for you that has ever had anxiety, I think you can get what I'm saying. If you have never had that, I think you're going to think that I'm crazy. But I have always think it's been so uncomfortable because of my anxiety to have something tight around my neck. I don't think that anymore and I do really like the look. I do really think it looks good. Uh, it gets a little bit warmer and I just started to love polo shirts. I have three now I think and I don't know. I just really like it. Then I want to talk about the podcast. This is a, this is the thing. When I'm looking at YouTube videos I often watch English YouTube videos but when I'm listening to podcasts I always want them to be in Swedish. I don't know because I do apparently understand English but I want my podcasts in Swedish and I want them about true crime. And <laughs> last year I did find a new one that is called Nara Agat which is like... How do you even translate that? But it is a true crime podcast for wimps. <laughs> um, all the stories is about people that have survived. And I have been listening to true crime and murder podcasts for years. Like, years. And at one point I was like, 
I don't know if I want everybody to die all the time. I think I need a break from people dying. So I found this podcast and I have been really, really liking it. I am glad that I didn't find it when they started because I'm I'm catching up, but I'm not there yet. And that is good, so I don't have to wait for a week for a new episode. But yeah, I've been really liking that podcast. It is, it is so good. So if you are Swedish, if you like true crime, but you maybe are either sick with everybody dying or just want to hear that everybody dies, I can really recommend Nära a thing that I had in December that I did really like last year, I did get an advent calendar with fun socks from my boyfriend. I do love the fun socks, like all the socks I own are something on them, I don't own any like plain socks. And I got this advent calendar with 24 pairs of socks. It was amazing. I want it next, this year as well. I want it next year as well. I I just love it. I don't know though. I have a lot of socks right now. But I really like that. It has been one of the best advent calendar that I've ever had. Another thing in our home that we have been starting to do this year. And you know all these like nice plates that you buy. And all the nice glasses you buy, and um, maybe a wine glass that you buy, you love, but you want to save it for a special occasion. We don't do that anymore. We did get rid of our old black IKEA plates, and we have now started to use only our nice plates, and I love that. It's so much more fun to eat. <laughs> on a nice plate. Maybe it sounds stupid, but it really is. And we were like, we have bought all these plates that we love, but we always only use them on special occasions. Why? They are supposed to be used. And I love that. And I recommend you to do that as well. Another thing that I've been really liking um, for my YouTube channel it's the ring light. You don't see it, but I do have a ring light from Elgato. I bought it last year and I do really like it. I am so happy that I bought it and it has made my filming so much easier. I only need that one. I started out with like two soft boxes, then I had a LED display and a soft box, but now I only have the ring light. And I'm so happy that I finally bought one. I have always been like, it's too expensive, but then I was like, I'm going to buy one. And I do love it and I'm so so happy that I bought my little ring light. Another thing that I did last year that uh, I haven't talked about it that much but me and my boyfriend we took a bath outside in the ocean or in a lake once a week all year around. So we did this cold bath uh, and then we continue it in the summer and I don't know if it was my thing, but I'm so happy that I got 52 both out of last year and even though it was freaking cold some days, we did it and I'm so happy that we did succeed with that. I said that I wanted to do it and I did it and that feels great. And then the last two things. I... We... <laughs> Me and my boyfriend, we did go to a concert uh, last summer, which was with three of my favorite bands that I had when I was younger, The Sounds, Mando Diao and The Hives. It was so fun. I haven't been on a concert for so, so many years. I did used to go to music festivals when I was younger. That has been, I think it was in the last one, 2012 maybe, so 10 years ago. But we did go on concert and I did really like it. I have really missed like, you know, the loud music and you feel it in your whole body. It was so fun. My boyfriend was like forcing me to go because first I was like, yeah, I want to go. And then I was like, no, I don't want to go. And he was like, we are going. And I'm so, so happy that we did go. And the last thing that I am happy and 
has his favorite <laughs> for last year is that I did succeed with my no buy. It felt so so good to go a whole year without buying any makeup that I didn't need. I bought some refills and it feels so so good that I did actually succeed with my no buy. I guess that is a thing that we people like to say that you're going to do something and then do it. It feels really really good and I'm so happy that I did it last year. It did really challenge me. It made me really like to have to look what I have in my collection and I'm so so happy that I did it and I'm also a bit happy that it's over. And yeah that was 22 things that I had as favorites from last year. I do really love that you like this video. It feels like it's getting so so long. I I think it's always fun to see people talk about other than makeup favorites, like random favorites. And I want to find a way to be a little bit more personal on my channel. And I hope that this was a good way to do it. So yeah, I do really love that you like this video. It's If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. And please tell me some of your favorites that has happened in your life last year. Bye!